Hello students, welcome back to our maths class. Hope, how you all? Hope you are doing good. So today we will continue with our unit 10 geometry. Today we will do our workbook page number 71 and 72. Before starting our lesson, let me uh, tell you something about what we did last video. See, what we did in our last video. What are solid shapes? So I hope you understood what are solid shapes. Say yes, anyone? Yes, what are solid shapes? Solid shapes are three-dimensional objects. So solid shapes have a length, breadth and height also. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, it's having length, breadth and height. So it's having three dimensions so that we can call solid shapes as solid shapes because it's having three dimensions say i will show you some example of solid shapes three dimensional or we can call it as 3d shapes let me show you example see what is this yeah this is a square this is a cube see in its face is like same like square but it is a cube see it's having length it's having breadth but it's having height also so that we can call this as a solid shape see let me show you uh, tell you something about plane shapes what are plane shapes so what are plane shapes any guesses yes i told you last time plane shapes are flat and having only two dimensions what's that length and breadth but in solid shape what is having in solid shape solid shape having length breadth and height but in plane shapes it's having length and breadth only what are the examples for plane shapes see i will show you example what is this any guesses yeah this is a triangle all of you know this right this is a triangle and triangle is having how many sides three sides one two and three and how many corners triangle is having three corners one two and three let me show you one more example. See, what is this? Yes, this is a square, correct. So how many sides square is having? Four, one, two, three, and four. And how many corners? One, two, three, four. Exactly, it's having four corners and four sides. But what else is having in square? All the sides of the square are equal. Okay, all sides are equal in square. Let me show you one more example of plane shape. What is this? Excellent. This is a rectangle. Very good. In rectangle, it's also having four sides. Count one, two, three, four. And how many corners rectangle is having? One, two, three, four. Isn't it? Four corners and four sides. But in rectangle, opposite sides are equal. Okay, see here, this and this side is equal to this side and this side is equal to this side. Let me tell you something more about square and rectangle. What is the difference between square and rectangle? See, square is having how many sides? Four sides. And rectangle, how many sides? Four sides. So, they are same. No, they are having four, four sides, but they are not same. You can see they look different. In square, all the four sides are equal. Very good. But in rectangle, only opposite sides are equal and they look different. Okay. Now today we will learn more about new topic that's what are patterns. So what's a pattern? A pattern is a series or sequence that repeats. So what are the examples of pattern? We can form patterns with different shapes. So what is pattern? Pattern is repeating over and over. If anything we are repeating over and over. Let me show you example. What is this? Any guesses? Yes, this is rectangle. What is the next one? Triangle. So what is the next one? Rectangle. Next, triangle. Very good. Rectangle. Triangle. Now tell me what should be in the last. 
See rectangle, triangle, rectangle, triangle, rectangle, triangle. So what will be the last? Excellent. Again rectangle. This makes a series. It is repeating over and over. Let me show you one more example. What is this? Oh, I'm scared. This is a line. No, this is a line circle. What is the next one? Square. What is the next one? Square. Oops, again line circle came. What is the next one? Square. Again square. So what will be the last? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Last is again square, line square. See, this is all about patterns. See, it is repeating over and over. So before starting our workbook, I will show you some songs about pattern. So you watch that, then we will continue our work, our workbook. Okay, dear? Here you go. Watch or watch this video. There are checkers on a game board and the rain sprinkles dice. Coils make a spring, bricks make a wall. And when you go into a shop or house, there's Lionel on the floor. Patterns are everywhere, on fabric, on your clothes, on animals in nature and man-made things in rows. And you can make a pattern with a picture, colour or shape Just repeat it, make it the same Over and over again On some plan for use imagination You can make your very own creation Dots and spots and squiggles and splashes Blobs and dots, scribbles and dashes, hey! On a tiger, in your hair, there are curls Links make a chain, in and out you weave And when you walk along the sand, there's footprints when you leave Patterns are everywhere, on fabric, on your clothes On animals, in nature, and man-made things in rows And you can make a pattern with a picture, colour or shape So students, hope you enjoy the song of patterns. Now dear, open your workbook, uh, maths workbook. Let us start work for today, okay? See, what is this? Part A, plane shapes, okay? So look at the plane shapes and fill in the correct answer. So you will see there are some shapes here on this page. So you will see, look at these plain shapes and you will fill the answers okay I hope you will write you can write okay you know the answers so first of all tell me which shape is this yes anyone yes correct this is a square so when this is a square what about what you know about square how many sides square is having Yes, square is having four sides. Count one, two, three, four. And what uh, other thing about you know about square? All the four sides of a square are equal. Very good. See, this is equal to this. This is equal to this. This is equal to this. All the four sides of a square are equal. See, let us start. See, a dash has dash equal sides and dash corners see first of all what is this yes this is a square we will write here square s q u a r e so a square has how many sides count one two see i will count it like this one two three four so a square has how many sides 
four sides and dash corners count the number of corners 1 2 3 4 so how many corners the square is having four corners okay now let's do say another part a dash has four sides and dash corners first of all check what we saw every shape is this yes this is rectangle so how many sides rectangle is having four one two three four and all the four sides opposite sides of a rectangle are equal very good so what we shape is this rectangle r e c t a n g l e okay rectangle has four sides and how many corners count the number of corners 1 2 3 and 4 so we will write here 4 okay now next one what is this which shape is this yes this is a triangle so how many sides triangle is having 1 2 3 how and how many corners 1 2 3 very good so first of all what is this triangle t r i a n g l e so how many sides triangle is having see count 1 2 3 see right here 3 and how many corners 1 2 3 okay so students let us start we will do now page number 72 okay see page number 72 let us start so we will do in this page identify shapes in patterns okay there are different types of shapes so you have to complete the pattern so what is this pattern worksheet complete the patterns look at the each of the patterns below and then use to the space to the right to complete the pattern so there is a pattern here patterns are drawn here so you have to complete this pattern from your right side okay from your right side okay now see which shape is this yes this is rhombus what is this this is rhombus so what is the next one this is circle so what is this again rhombus then again circle rhombus then again circle then again rhombus so what should be the next yes the next should be it should be a circle see it should be a circle and what should be the next tell me yes again next should be the rhombus okay and it's like a diamond so it's called a rhombus okay so see students this makes a pattern rhombus circle rhombus circle rhombus circle rhombus circle and then rhombus again okay so let's move to the next line so what is the what is the shape here square so what is the next one triangle square triangle square triangle square so what should be the next one now yes next one should be again triangle isn't it yes see this is a triangle so what should be the next what is the after triangle what is there yes this is square see square i draw here square see the square is complete now isn't it see it's complete now now here it stops now next what is this here circle square square again circle then two squares now what should be here again here is a circle so what should be next yes next should be square again square so what should be again next another square okay see here triangle triangle opposite see here again triangle two triangles two triangles 
So what should be the next here? Yes, tell me. What should be the next here? Next should be again triangle. But see, this is from, this is point is from here. Corner is, is from here, here. Okay. See, this point is from here. So we will draw the triangle from this side. See. Let me draw it like this. See, isn't it? See, this is the pattern. Okay. This is the pattern now. So what should be the next? Next we will draw again. See? See? Then next again. It should be like this. Now, now this makes a complete pattern. Okay? Now what should be next here? See? Now next. This. It's a rhombus rectangle oval. Rhombus rectangle oval, rhombus rectangle oval, rhombus rectangle oval, rhombus rectangle oval. So what should be the next? Yes, tell me. Any guesses? See? What should be after oval? Yes, after oval is again what? Rhombus. Okay. So what should be the next rectangle then again what should be next oval so this is all about page number 72 so there is another page which you will do at your home that's page number 73 i will show you what you have to do at in your home this is page number 73 so in this page you have to draw some pictures some solids geometric solids Draw the following solids in each box. That's cone, sphere, cube, cuboid, triangular prism, and slender. But you will do either if you are good. I know some are good in some. Not all of you are good in drawing. Some you can draw the pictures here, or you can do one thing. You can paste the pictures or uh, these of these solids on this page, or you can print out the pictures of these solids on this page. Choices was anything, whatever you want to do, you can do. So students, this was all about solid shapes and plane shapes. Now we will do one thing, activity number two, uh, geometric solids. As I told you before, you will do this homework, page number 73 of your workbook at your home. Either you, want, uh, you can draw the pictures or you can paste the pictures or you can print out the pictures and paste on that page. And you can uh, check the pictures. If you want to draw the pictures, you can check your textbook. Uh, page number 100 okay from on that page there are different pictures different solid shapes there you can check from there and you can draw on you this page okay choice is yours and uh, until from the next till for the next video take care bye okay thank you